Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we have a new topic and the topic fit with the occasion. Uh, first, before we start uh, our topic for today, I receive a lot of emails, especially like in Facebook, etc. And people sending me articles to refute the Muslims. And the first, first thing I ask myself, I mean, why those people who don't, I mean, after all what you learned from me, why you don't want you yourself to refute them? I mean, why Christian prince have to refute everybody in the world? And I don't mind, by the way. But I mean, you send me the most silly, stupid articles, which is a kid at the age of 11 can refute it, and yet you want Christian prince to refute it. I mean, how lazy those who call themselves Christians, or let us say some of them. So what is your uh, what is your duty in life? I mean, what do you do? You as a Christian, what does that mean? You celebrate Halloween? Celebrating Halloween will not make you Christian, will make you pagan like Muhammad. And instead of asking me to refute them, and refute, especially if it's something silly and something stupid. I mean, you do it yourself. Can't you? By the way, you can make videos without talking. You can't. Simply, you go and you quote what a Christian prince he said about the same topic because there's no way there's a single topic I did not cover in my videos. You can cut the video of the Muslims saying what they are saying or showing a, a, a Photoshop uh, a shot of uh, of their article and show what Christian Prince so you don't talk don't say anything just do a little bit of work but you know, they don't want to work I mean he Christian Prince you know we go to the falafel store he have falafel lazy people lazy people don't belong to the Messiah time will come and he will say to you I do not know you what you did for me you work you live for 70 80 years what you did you were employed for who? I will not hesitate to refute Islam until the last second in my life, and I will never get, get tired of it. But I'm get tired getting tired if you know seeing people don't care, they don't want to do anything. I really so you know uh, very happy about those who they are cutting my videos, posting it all over. They are doing great job. Those are real Christians. Today, our topic about the stupid Halloween. There's many who claim to be Christians and celebrate such a pagan cult practice, which is not only disgusting, it is a stupid which not only will take your money, it's a way just to suck your money, and companies, they make those masks for you, so you buy them and you are the idiot of the village who spend your money over something stupid and something ugly. And you fail into their trap. How I can be a Christian person and I celebrate such an ugly, disgusting practice. And don't be... And don't feel sorry if your child one day he brought a knife and he cut the throne of the throat of his sister because he, he he thought it's a Halloween. If we go right now in Google to see what this Halloween is about, you will see it is the most stupid, ugly, disgusting, and they involve the childrens with this madness. What is this? blood coming from their lips well is that supposedly something pretty and something beautiful do you really people enjoy this if you are a christian or uh, somebody is saying to me halloween is not that bad cp uh, if halloween is not bad so what is bad if Halloween is not bad, what is the bad? What are you talking about? 
zombie and the Dracula and all the stupid things. If that is not bad, what is bad? You want to tell me it's for fun? This is not fun. This is this is how you prepare people to, to accept the blood and to accept shedding blood. And not only that, you see, it's uh, Halloween. It, uh, it, even these days, get more ugly because it, it's involved sexuality too. So you will see a bunch of couples, Muslim couples, wearing Halloween customs, and the guy he is wearing a dog, and she have a chain in his head, and she is slapping him and whipping him with the leather belt. Go and see what they do. Yeah, we will prove that the real Halloween is very Islamic. We will prove it. Just hold a second. We just started. Hello. What is this? What is the point of this? This is a stupid. This is have nothing to do with anything good, any value. I mean, what what this occasion will accomplish in your society? People will like to kill, maybe, shoot, maybe, slaughter the throat of somebody, maybe, to be evil, maybe, worshiping death, maybe. You cannot be a Christian and you practice such a thing. If you think you are a Christian and you practice it, you are a fool. I say it to you, and I say it to you, and I am very sure that you are being a fool. The Bible is full of verses speaking against practicing pagan practice. I remember once, there's a guy, uh, he spoke to me, he said to me, do you celebrate a Christmas? I said, yeah. He said, do you have a tree? I said, no, but I don't mind. He said, but isn't a tree a pagan practice? I said, no. The Bible speaks about the pagan practice of worshipping a tree. They used to decorate a tree to worship it. We don't do that. We don't, and it's something beautiful. This is ugly, and this is devilish. If you do something pagan to worship, then you are a pagan person. Now we go to the Islamic part of the Halloween. You see, maybe in the West, they celebrate such a stupid occasion, which is, I really condemn, and I believe it's very stupid. And if you are a Christian, it's a shame on you, shame on you to practice it. If you have those things in your home, go throw them away. First of all, you are burning your money. Secondly, don't be sorry if later you see your child cutting the throat of somebody because he think it's a fun thing. It's a Halloween. This is why you see an increase of the number of people who watch horror movie. And then they wonder why there is a, you know, a, the crimes is high rocking. I mean, like, it's like crazy. Will you, you, your child watch those and then he will not mind to cut the throat of somebody. He will not mind to torture somebody. Even the games you play, you buy a kid a game of shooting. Okay, he is just six, seven years old and he starts shooting people in TV. What he will do when he is 13 or 14 and did he, you know, he get, he get his hand on your gun. He will shoot what his mom go and see how many children they killed their parents. This is not Christian. And this is a pure evil. Christian family should not allow this in their houses. Now, we go to the Islamic Halloween. You see, I don't have really 
something in my head to show you because whatever I go about the behavior of Muhammad it's a Halloween the different is it's a real Halloween it is a real Halloween and today I will show you some examples let me think which one I will show you show you hmm help me guys help me because Muhammad Muhammad was a very good guy it's impossible to find a Halloween in his history I mean what are you talking about oh hold on I remember something Hmm, let me see how we can find this hadith. How we can find it, how we can find it. Hmm. I'm trying to remember a full sentence because this is how I find things in that fast, you know. Um okay. Hmm. You see, on my keyboard for some reason is not doing good. It's not connecting letters correctly. Uh, I don't know when I do that. Let us see. Well, here we go. We found it. I will show you the Halloween. And actually, let us read. It's uh, it's in many in many many hadith. It's not only in one uh, resource. Read with me carefully, uh, guys. Is the text clear for you? You can read it. Can you read it in the screen or it's small? Let me make it bigger. We will lose nothing. And please invite your friends. This is another example of the Islamic Halloween. Let me open something here. Hold on. Please invite your friends, if you don't mind. Um, I'm just trying to find something. Mm -hmm. Uh, look like we'll have a hard time to find it. It's just an audio file to give you a bad music. I mean, sorry, uh, a background music of the horror. <laughs> but look like I could not find the file to show you. Anyway, we go back to the Halloween of Muhammad. A thief. A who? A thief. Hmm. A thief brought to the messenger. I wonder why the Muslim did not bring the messenger to the messenger because he was the biggest thief in history. He did not only stole money, he stole women from their husbands. He is a rapist, he is a killer, he is a criminal. He Even Islamic books say clearly that he stole even the sandals of the dead people which he killed. A thief was brought to the messenger of Allah. And he said, kill him. Look how easy it is. I mean, psh, kill him. Why Why you want to kill him? My friend, there is a wisdom in this story. 
you will see now an amazing knowledge of the prophet proving that he must be a prophet they said oh messenger of Allah he only stole so why you want to kill him this is not even Sharia Allah in Islamic religion if you steal an egg and hire from a Muslim they cut your hand if you steal a woman and the children from a Christian person you are a good guy or a Hindu or a Buddha or an atheist but you steal it from a from a Muslim they will cut your hand shame on you you are allowed only to steal it from non-muslims he said okay well cut his hand here we go the Halloween started but this is real Halloween this is not a joke cut his hand so his hand was cut off okay so now the guy have one hand left then he was brought a second time and he said he said who who is the one saying he said Muhammad he said kill him kill him they said oh messenger of Allah he only stole he said which means Muhammad okay well as you wish cut off his foot do you see the Halloween people do you watch the Halloween we have a prophet who was sent as mercy for mankind this is what the Muslim they say and the Quran says that Rahmatun lil alameen. he is a mercy for mankind the mercy of the mankind and the merciful God and the merciful prophet if you steal an egg he cut your hand you steal second egg he cut your foot okay is the Halloween over no so his foot was cut off guys close your eyes and imagine what's happening you see don't read don't read text don't read text don't be a fool you see the problem is the problem that we read text this is not a joke this is a real human being is being tortured. Maybe some of you like, okay, he cut his foot. Okay, he cut his hand. Imagine they are cutting your hand, not his hand. Your foot, not his foot. And the story continue. The Halloween is not over yet. He was brought to him third time third time and he said kill him they said oh messenger of Allah he only stole he said okay cut off his other hand what the heck the guy now this Abdul he have no hands at all he have what he have zero hand and one foot left then he was brought to him fourth time and he said which means muhammad kill him they said oh messenger of allah he only stole he said okay well there's only one thing to left to cut cut off his foot he was brought fifth time and he said we took him to an animal pen and attacked him he lay down in his back then waved his arm and leg on air and the camel ran away <laughs> You see, one of one of the one of the stupid things about this cult, about this religion, that Muslim they fabricate stories, they add a spice to it, and when they add a spice, they expose the stupid Muhammad. How the guy have no hands and he have no feet left, and yet he stole something. Who is Abdul? He have a little brain. Can explain to me? The guy have no hands the guy have no feet 
how he can steal. And Abdul have an idea. Can't you tell that the one who wrote this story, if it's your prophet who is saying that he did this, obviously Muhammad is a fool. If it's you Muslims who fabricated the story, it's obviously that you Muslims are fool. If you believe in this story, obviously you are not a fool, you are a donkey. How in the world a guy who committed five time theft, first time we cut his right hand, second time we cut his left foot, then we cut his, 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 uh, his left hand, then we cut his uh, right foot, and then he come back and he get, commit more crime? And he still is stealing? That is Halloween of torturing a human being for he committed theft. And by the way, Muhammad, as a pagan man, he did not do anything in you. The Arab, they used to cut the hand of the thief. Now, what is, what is really the reason to cut the hand of a human being according to Islam? Let us see the justice of Islam, the Halloween of Islam. Cutting hands of a human being for what reason? Do you read, guys? Do you read the real reason to cut a hand of a human being? If he stole an egg or a rope, we cut his hand. And the funny, the hadith is not translated. What is the hadith? Guys, do you see the hadith? The hadith in Arabic here. Where is, where is the hadith translation? They translate that this is the chain that this guy, he said, 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 said what? Where is the hadith? They took it off. Where is the hadith? It says that if a guy, he stole a rope or an egg, we cut his hand. It's gone. They are telling us this hadith narrated in the authority of Amash with some chain, blah, blah, blah. But what is the hadith? Are you following with me? It's gone. They, tra they translate to us who reported the story, but they did not translate the story. Let us try different place, brother. Maybe we can find it in different place. All right. Here we go. We found it in different place. We found it a different place. Abu Huraira, R R A A A A A. A K K K narrated that the messenger of Allah P B U H, you know, he's, he's not an acid, like you know, it's, but it's kind of a P P U H, not an acid. Yeah, said, May Allah curse a thief who steal an egg for, for which his hand is cut off, or steal a rope which his hand is to be cut off, agreed upon. So look at the justice and look at the Halloween of Islam. A guy who steal an egg, obviously he is a hungry man. He is not a thief. Do we agree? Guys, do you agree? A real thief, he will not steal an egg. He will steal jewelries. He will not risk his hand to be cut off for just eating an egg. Obviously, this is a person who is starving and he need help. If a person is stealing an egg from me, I will give it to him. I will say, you know what? God bless you. Take it. I will not even go after him. They lie to us and they say that Islam is a merciful religion, but Islam is the Halloween, the hello, the hello hell, the hello torture. And the funny, the Muslims, they did not cut the hands of Muhammad. We can show you tons of stories where Muhammad, he is torturing people to know where they hide their money. Killing people just to know where is the money.
if we go in the Quran, don't forget that the Quran is full of of Halloween too. In the Quran, we see that the Quran teaching the Muslims to cut the hands of a human being. Not only that, to cut their necks ne in the neck of a human being, uh, to do beheading. Not only that, but even to cut their fingertips when they are alive, to torture them. Chapter 8, verse number 12. Do you see it, Muslims? Remember the Lord, they inspired the angel with the message, I am with you. Give firm and the believers, I will install terror in the heart of the unbelievers. Submit above their necks and submit their fingertips of them. Fingertips? Why you want to cut their fingertips, Mr. Abdul? Any Muslim have an idea? Why? What kind of religion teach such a disgusting Halloween religion? You know, if you want to see the real Halloween, you do not need to do anything except just search for the Mujahideen, brother. When you see the Mujahideen putting nails in the eyes of a human being after they crucify him, that is very Islamic. Muhammad himself, he did that exactly. If we go in the Quran, or we go right now in Google in front of you, hmm? What we will find all those videos are speaking about the prophet cutting the hands and the feet of people and he put nails in their eyes he put the nails in the fire and then he did insert the nails inside their eyes and after that he cut their hands and their feet when they are crucified that is not a penalty that is torture Read with me carefully. فَقَطَّعَ أَيْدِيهُمْ وَأَرْجُلُهُمْ وَسَمَّرَ أَعْيُنَهُمْ فَأُلْقُوا بِالْحَرَّ يَسْتَسْقُونَ فَلَا يَسْقُونَ فَلَا يُسْقُونَ He cut their hands and their feet and he put nails in their eyes and he threw them in the desert which means under the sun asking, please, water. And they never gave them water. Ayad said, Samar al Ain, he's explaining to us what Samar al Ain. It means to, uh, uh, how to translate this? Uh, hmm. You know, you know, like when you do eyeliner, eyeliner, this is what he's saying. Like doing eyeliner by a nail which was in fire over the in, in the eye, and then you insert it inside. But this is not what it's meant here. They say that you know, and some they say that semel mean to 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 unblock the eye of somebody. By using, uh, I don't know what they call it. You know, you know the the things come from the plant, which is like sharp, like if you have a flower. I don't know what they call it in English, really. So they are saying you insert that, and he is saying this is not what it meant here because here he 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 used he used nails. This is Muhammad. So when they say to us, ISIS are not Islamic. I challenge him to show me why he, they are not Islamic. Muhammad himself, he cut hands, he cut feet, he put nails in the eyes, he tortured people. Why they aren't Islamic?
That's Muhammad. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. You know what? Let me see if I can find it in English. Hmm? Maybe we can find it in English. Let us see if the Muslim translates such a thing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 we found it in English. What, 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 what? What, 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 what? We found it in English? I don't believe it. It's a miracle. The Muslim usually, they hide those stories. Read carefully with me. Remember, this prophet is not practicing Halloween, the fake one. He is practicing the real Halloween. Some people from the arena tribe to um, came to the Medina in etc and then Allah messenger P B B U H allowed them to go to hard camels giving as zakat they drank their milk and urine as he ordered them as medicine <laughs> this is the only religion when you join it they cut they do two things for you the first thing they cut your penis and then they force you to drink camel urine because this is sunnah and by the way, I don't know why they are not forcing uh, uh, those who convert to Islam and Yuli to do this anymore. And they knew it's disgusting, right? And nobody accepts no more. Hmm. But they killed the shepherd and drove away the camels. Okay, let us say here that those guys are a criminal, but pff, they killed the shepherd. What they did, they killed the shepherd. So Allah Messenger sent men in their pursuit to catch them. And they were brought and he had their hands and feet cut and their eyes were branded with heated pieces of iron and they were left in the hara which mean a very hot place in the desert biting the stones from thirst which means until they die is that a good uh, example of the mercy of the prophet? Let us say for the sake of argument, those guys are people who killed somebody. They deserve to be killed. But what is, what is the explanation to torture them by cutting their hands and their feet and by putting nails in their eyes and by crucifying them? That is the real Halloween. The real Halloween is not the one you see in the West, which is a pagan, stupid practice. And whoever practiced that, I have no problem to say to you, you are being a foolish man, and you are stupid for buying, spending money over something stupid, disgusting. Good for you to be stupid. But what we see in the front of us is a real monster, real disgusting human being. You see, the Muslim they say the punishment of killing is death. Okay, actually, I have no problem with that. The person who takes a human life as a murder, he deserves to be his life to be taken. And the Bible even speaks about that. But why you want to cut their hands? And why you want to put needles in their eyes? And you want to cut your feet? And why you want to crucify them? First of all, a crucifixion is a pagan practice. You see, the Christian do not do not and never crucify people. Jesus was a crucified because the Roman they practice that for they are pagan. But we find that the Quran copy from the Roman their practice of a crucifixion. Muhammad religion is nothing but a collection of other cults and practice of pagans and here we go Muhammad is copying from the Roman their pagan practice and he claimed that this is God teaching what does that mean translation chapter 5 verse number 33 Read with me. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah, and by the way, wage war against Allah here, it can be anything. As an example, there is there is a there is a sheikh in Saudi Arabia now. 
he saw a dream he saw a dream that Muhammad came to him in the dream because of that the dream they are going to cut his hands they are going to cut his feet they are going to crucify him they are going to put nails in his eyes and let him die slowly in the desert this is called al qatl ta'dhiran they will not cut you know they, they, it's possible they will cut his head but maybe at the end but mostly they would torture him they would cut his hand they would crucify him they put him in a cross they cut his hands they cut his feet and they put nails in his eyes all of this because he saw a dream about Muhammad that he came to him and he said something to him he did not wage war so waging war here is very flexible. Me, me myself, I'm a person who speak against Islam. I wage war against Allah. That's it. So don't be fooled about waging war. You might think this is here a person who waged war really took the sword and he attacked them. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with this. It can be anything. And look what it says here. This is supposed to be Allah talking. And remember, when we say Allah talking, that's mean Jibreel talking. When we say Jibreel talking, that's mean Dahil Kalbi talking. Do you remember the video we made just uh, two days ago? Muhammad never spoke to Allah, never saw Allah, never witnessed Allah, never heard of Allah, never even hear the sneeze of Allah. He know a guy, his name is Dahil Kalbi, and he claimed that he is Jibreel. And we showed you in the previous video how Muhammad used to spend day and night and noon and afternoon with this guy who is not far away. He live. He's a, he's a guy who live in town. He's very well known. He is the most handsome boy in town. Handsome man, young man. Obviously, Muhammad having sexual relationship with him. And in order to explain why he spent the time with him, this is why when Aisha, she said to him, why you spend all this time with this guy and you never say no no to him he come to you at daytime you came to him in he come to you in the night time you always smile in his face and you can take him in how come when my father come to you sometime you say to him i'm busy abu Bakr is a person who became a caliphate he is the father of aisha yet muhammad he never said to him come all the time he comes sometime he say muhammad i cannot see you maybe i'm having sex with my wives but when the Hilkalbi he come, Muhammad never said to him, I am busy. And always he have a big smile when he see him. So Aisha, she's questioning, he said to her, well, this is, yes, he looked like the Hilkalbi he is, but this is Jibreel. He come to me in the look of the Hilkalbi perfectly. The boyfriend of Muhammad. In front of us, we see Allah saying supposedly to his messenger, which means that he'll be saying to his messenger, Muhammad, the boyfriend, and strive with might and, and, and mean of mischief through the land, execution or a crucifixion or cutting of hands and feet from opposite side or excel from the land. Do you see it? That is the real Halloween. And the funny, the Quran claim that Muhammad was a mercy for mankind. Muhammad was a mercy for mankind. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Chapter 21, verse 107. We sent you thee not but as a mercy for all the creatures creatures we are creatures for muhammad well, i just told you what is mischief men i am right now doing mischief i just told you a guy who is a muslim cleric a very he have two million subscriber two million muslims subscriber to his tweet to his twitter Imagine, he's a big sheikh in Islam in Saudi Arabia. Salman al-Auda. He is going, they will cut his hands and feet and they will torture him and they will put nails in his eyes and they will crucify him for seeing a dream. This is mischiefment, my friend. He's a Muslim. 
He's a big sheikh. He's not a Christian prince. He never spoke against Muhammad. He saw a dream that Muhammad came to him. And in the dream, he said, actually, the guy, he said nothing wrong, except he, he mentioned that he asked him to gather the Muslims. And the guy, he said to him, but you know the situation now, we cannot do that. So the royal family, they consider that, that he is trying to speak against them. And that is causing fitna. And this is against Islam. So now we can cut his hands and feet and put nails in his eyes. This is what mischief meant mean. So now he is facing 37 account of accusation. And they are asking for the punishment of torture, cutting his hands, his feet, crucifixion, and putting nails in his eyes until he die. That is what mischief meant. And Muhammad, as you see, we send thee, but as a mercy for all creatures. This is mercy. Cutting hands, raping women, cutting fingers, cutting necks, putting nails in the eyes of people after you heat it with the fire. I mean, this is extreme mercy. What more mercy you want from this? And this to show you the God of Islam. We are talking about the Halloween, aren't we? Guys, are we talking about the Halloween? Do you know that the God of Islam would insert in the anus of a human being a chain? Allah himself in chapter 69 and by the way there's a miracle here look at the numbers somebody says to me do you can you refute the miracles of the Muslims they say about mathematics my friend I have tons of videos watch them just searched for them and laugh at the miracles it's a joke chapter 69 verse number 32 the Quran says that Allah will insert in the anus of anyone he don't like a huge chain by the way I advise you Muslims to start looking for Vaseline from Amazon.com. I mean, the chain is so huge. If we go to the interpretation to read what this chain is about. Hmm? <clears throat> what this chain is about. Just to show you, I'm not making things up. Chapter 69. I mean, it's 69. It's a miracle. I mean, how Allah He chose 69 and He's talking about the anus. It must be a miracle. Scientific mathematics miracle. Chapter 69 is speaking about inserting something in the anus of a anus of the human being. It's a miracle. How you can explain that? You cannot explain. It's beyond explanation, brother. Read with me carefully. I don't know if the text, guys, is good for you. Let me make it bigger. Is it better now? Let us see. Where is the verse? This is not what we are looking for. Ah, this is 29. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. This is what's wrong with this thing. It's not taking me to the verse I want. Mm, what we will do, even though I have it in uh, ah, this is 68, not 69. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. See what happens when you get old? Don't get old. All right. <clears throat> Here with me. Go ahead. Size him, brother. Size him. Who's talking Allah? Size him and fetter him. Then throw him in the blazing fire. Meaning he will be command. He command the guardians, which mean the angels, of the guardian of hell to uh, forcibly remove from uh, the gathering place and fetter him. Uh, what does that mean? Let us, let us read carefully. Then fast him, fasten him, 
on a chain, wherefore the length is 70 cubits. Kabul Ahbar said, every ring brother, every ring brother of this uh, uh, chain brother is equal to the entire amount of iron found in the whole world. And absolutely very, very true. Every ring of this chain is equal to the entire iron in the world, yet is going to go inside the anus of a guy. I mean, how the entire iron in the world is going to go inside an anus? That alone is a miracle. Look like Allah, He will make the anus of the Abdul very flexible. Very, 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 very flexible. And read with me carefully. Then fasten him, it will be entered into his buttocks. What? What? what where? where, where? I, I, did, I, I did not hear it. Where? In his buttocks? MashaAllah, brother. This is very merciful. And you are saying that uh, Western they celebrate Halloween. This is the best Halloween ever, brother. What is the horror movie? Horror movie is nothing, brother. Here we go. We have a guy. They open his legs. And now we have angels of Allah. They are inserting, brother, inside his anus, a huge, a huge chain. Every ring of this chain is equal to the all iron brother in the world. This is the, the real Halloween. You know, I don't know how many horror movies you watch. I don't advise you to watch them anyway. They are disgusting and stupid and evil. But this guy, he beat all of them. What kind of God he is going to insert inside an anus of a human being, a chain, and this chain is so huge. He, by the way, excuse my language, uh, what about his shit? I mean, this is a shitty punishment. You can imagine, brother, when they are inserting the chain, all the shit is coming out in the hands of the angels. Don't you see, brother, that this is a very, very beautiful religion? I'm very convinced. Imagine you have a chain in your anus and you like how you can I don't know how how I can we describe this for you close your eyes breeze and uh, Imagine there is two angels in certain chain in the anus of 1.6 billion Muslim as they say they are 1.6. I don't think even they are 300 millions They count everyone who live in Islamic country as a Muslim But if you go and see really who is really a Muslim you will not find many This is a religion, and this is a god. This is from his anus, sorry. Brother, when we inserted the chain in the anus of a Muslim and we have a lot of Aaron going in, what will happen, brother? Brother, do you think Allah is enjoying this, brother? And Allah like, wow, finally, I enjoy it, really. Yeah, next, bring the next guy. This God is really, and you know, I can imagine that Allah, when he is doing this, he is taking selfie. And he sent it to his girlfriend. Smile, brother. Put his anus next to my face, brother. Okay, send. thank you. This is a God? And this is a religion? And the brother, the story is not over yet. Read with me, brother. After they inset the chain in his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth, from, from where? They insert it in his buttocks? And it come out from his mouth. Uh, this is need selfie. Hold on. 
more more yeah 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 hey, you see there's some zucchini on my mouth in the, in the, in the, my teeth brother and uh, uh, let me clean it okay now i will smile again okay brother mashallah alhamdulillah allah is all merciful and very beautiful i mean this is very very beautiful and this is very imaginary uh, uh, god who is the most uh, beautiful and amazing brother right so brother okay after now we insert in his anus in his buttocks i pull it and pull it out of his mouth then what they will be arranged on this chain just like lock store lock store look what 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 like insects are arranged in a stick for being roasted hold on where is my camera Hello, Akbar! This is amazing, so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful! Oh, we have a barbecue, barbecue! Allah is happy! <laughs> Allah is a cowboy, he is roasting a human being in the chain and he is lining them up in the top of the barbecue. Jump, 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 all angels of blizzard. It's party time, party time. It's amazing. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Allah will line you up, brother, and he will roast you in the chain. You are, now, the chain is going inside your anus and coming out from your mouth. And now Allah is going to do a barbecue. Party, party, party. And then, al awafi reported from Ibn Abbas, which means the cousin of Muhammad, he said that it will run into his behind and until it's brought out of his nostrils, nostrils, will come from your nose. I mean, this is something. This is even more and a lot more exciting. That's amazing. That's so beautiful. I don't know what to say. It's like something blowing my mind. It's going inside you now. The chain going up. Up. Up, up, up. Journey. Up, 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 up. Are you enjoying uh, the rooster? This is God. The chain will come from your nose. A second ago, it was from the mouth. You know what? I'm so glad Allah did not make it come from the ears or from the belly bum, brother, or from the penis. I mean, that will be really torture. <laughs> Oh boy, and the Muslim they are saying to you that Halloween is a pagan practice. Yes, Halloween is a pagan practice. We agree, but you are pagan too, and you do real Halloween. You do a real Halloween, and then, guys, the details are still coming. We are not. The Halloween is not over. The Islamic Halloween is just started. They are describing for us how a drop of this iron look like. The iron will go inside the anus, which is so huge. Every ring of the chain, which is will be inserted in the anus of a human being, every ring is equal to all the iron in the world. How, how many billion tons of iron? They will go inside an anus? Billions and billions and billions of tons of iron will go inside the human being anus. Then, brother, if a drop of lead like this, and he pointed at the skull bone, were sent from heaven to earth, and it is distance of 500 years, by the way, they measure the distance of 500 years by the, by the speed of the camel. This is very scientific, by the way. Actually, in the website of NASA, by the way, NASA, the first one, maybe many of you do not know that the first, the founder of NASA, he was a Muslim Abdul. Yes. And his name, uh, I'm not sure really of the full name, but I think the first letter of his name was Zakir Naik. 
I have a, he's a doctor. Okay. So I, I remember only the first letter. I don't know really the rest of the name, but he's Abdul. His, his first letter name is Zakir Naik. He is the founder of NASA. And it says, if this is one drop, which is coming from the distance of 500 years of travel, it would reach the earth before night. I'm so glad before night. I mean, it's going to be late if it's not. I mean, and it will, if, if, and if, it, if, if, if it, the same drop of lead were, were sent from the lead of the chain of hell. Ah, this is the chain from hell. I was thinking where they got the chain from. I thought maybe Home Depot, maybe he, you know, I don't know. I mean, this is really a huge chain. Where we can find a chain like this, it's impossible. You cannot find a chain like this in any store. It's coming from hell. Do you remember, guys? Do you remember the the guy in the in the video about the punishment of the grave? Who remember the video? Any of you remember it? Who remember? Nobody remember? Somebody pause the video, please. That is another way of Halloween because Muhammad even taught the Muslims when you go in the grave, brother. When you go in the grave, there is 99 dragons will go inside your anus. 99 dragons? Inside the anus? I mean, what is the problem here? Why the anus is a big deal? Allah will put a chain in the anus. Allah will send the dragons in 99 dragons. Allah, look, look, look. Allah have 99 names and there is 99 dragons will go inside your anus. I never thought that an anus can take all of those creatures inside. A dragon, 99 dragon inside an anus. I mean, not even a gay he can take it. How 99 dragons will go inside the anus of a human being? Any Abdul? Hmm? Let me see if I can find you the hadith about the dragons inside the anus. Guys, do you have enough or you want more? More torture? <laughs> Uh, mm. please if you are under the age of 80 please leave the chat because this is not good for young ones only us like 80 and over we can sit here and enjoy this uh, okay mm. let us see Guys, I wish I can show you the videos in Arabic about the punishment of the grave. If you watch it and if you speak Arabic, you might die laughing. Literally. Literally. But actually, let me see if I can find this video here. Hold on. Let me open YouTube. I'm not going to play it for you, but I will give you an idea. So you can watch this video. I don't know if anyone of you have it. Let me go to YouTube. If you search, if you search in YouTube, random, random search. The, uh, the torment of the grave or the punishment of the grave grave you will find tons of islamic videos speaking about what will happen to you in the grave brother this is a real halloween you are now in the grave brother and there is a special creatures allah will send to you the first thing allah will send to you is angels those angels brother they have a hammer with them. <laughs> Any anybody watch a movie? It's called uh, what the what the name of the the, the guy who carry a, a hammer? 
and this hammer like fly he fight everybody with it anyone remember the name of the movie the guy who carry a hammer and he beat with it ever Thor Thor okay Thor all right so this is the same hammer brother two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions the first question who is your God you have to say Allah they will say to you what is your religion you have to say Islam if you miss any answer which means to give a correct answer they will hit you with the hammer and they will take you 70 cubit down the ground I mean you are in the grave yet they will take you in the ground and you are dead now they will give you a quiz three questions you have to answer them perfectly otherwise they will beat the hell of you with the hammer of Thor so the first question who is your God you say Allah what is your religion you say Islam who is this and they will show you a picture brother of the Prophet Muhammad <laughs> and they will ask you who is this guy you have to say Muhammad <laughs> if you say Christian Prince they will beat the hell of you if you say this is a Trump they will beat the hell of you uh, because remember first of all most of you will think it's Trump because uh, Muhammad was a very white man Even the Muslims, they are making speeches about how white his skin, even his uh, underarm is so white, brother. Look what kind of religion this religion is. <clears throat> Islam is religion of Halloween. It's a stupid religion based on fictions. Look, those are videos made by Muslims. Look, this is this is a, a, a dead guy, supposedly. This is always a Photoshop. And they say to you, brother, watch. I mean, if you want to watch them, go watch them. I don't, you know, it's up to you. Go watch and laugh at the stupidity of this cult. Uh, by the way, in the grave, Allah will send to you a snake, as you see in the picture. And this snake have to be black. It have to be black. It can't be yellow. It can't be because Islam considers black color as an evil color. So it's going to be a black and it's going to be bold. I mean, what? It's going to be bold. Actually, if we go in the Quran, look what the Quran says about this. I mean, why we are, why we don't go in the Quran? Allah, brother. He is going to make you uh, face your destiny in the grave and he will send you a snake which is a black snake and he will make you uh, blind uh, and the snake is bold <laughs> uh, all right all right <clears throat> let us see here we go Oof. chapter 20 verse number 124 ومن أعرض عن ذكري من ذكرى فإن الله له فإن له معيشة ضنكا ونحشره يوم القيامة أعمى. What does that mean? Let us go and read the interpretation, brother. Let me open the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. What does that mean exactly? You see. I show you what the Muslims give interpretation, so you will not say, and the Muslim they will not say this guy is fabricating and giving false interpretation for something is not, it does not mean that. And this is why we use, and I insist using Islamic website, Islamic scholars, not any Abdul, not like Shabir Ali, who don't have even high school in Islam. He got a degree in Toronto from a guy who himself do not know what Islam is about. If we go in chapter 20, verse number 124, and I do it live in the front of you. Let us see. What does that mean exactly? <clears throat>
But whoever disgrades, my remembrance disgrades the Quran, does not believe in it, he shall be uh, strengthened in life and darkened with the notion, a variable known, meaning a strained, uh, the statement have interrupted in the hadith uh, that to, man, to, to mean the punishment in the grave of the disbeliever. And the day of resurrection will shall bring him assembly, namely the one who disagrees the Quran, a blind, blind in eyesight. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> I mean, this is the stupid, the most stupid idea ever. If somebody is going to be tortured, it's better for him not to see. You just made him blind. He will not be seeing what's going to happen. So what's the point of making him blind? Allah here, brother, he missed the point. Let us see more interpretation. I don't like this interpretation, really. It does not give us much details. I want to see more details. Maybe what I'll go to Ibn Kathir. Uh, actually, you know what? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. I mean, why we are wasting our time? Let us see. Maybe we can get more details. Chapter 20, 124. Go. 20. All right. Bingo. Here we go. Let us see what Ibn Kathir want to say about this. <clears throat> Verily, for him, the life of hardship, meaning his life, will be hard in this world. His life will be hard in this world, the one who don't believe in Islam. Is that the case of Bill Gates? Is that the case for Trump? Is that the case for uh, the owner of a Playboy magazine? Hmm. Okay. He will have no tranquility and and exp no expanding of his breast. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so upset. Uh, you know, this is, will be upsetting for women, my friend, not for a man. What do you mean, no, no expanding for his breast? Anyone knows what does that mean? Who knows what does that mean? Expanding for his breast? Hello? Who is a Muslim? Wanna tell us what it does mean expanding of his breast? They will have a breathing problem, my friend. If somebody is this is the opposite. Let me show you the stupidity of the Quran. The Muslim they say the Quran, the Quran speak of science in this verse. Let me go there. You see, stupidity is a sign of intelligence these days, which means the more you stupid you are, the more you are smart, supposedly. <clears throat> uh -huh. Let us see. Chapter 94. What is that? Have we not expanded thee the breast and removed from thee the burden? Anyone remember what this is about? Remember, remember. Who remember the story where two angels come and cut Muhammad from his throat all the way to his testicles? Who remember? You guys, you forgot? You forgot? You are fired, all of you. All of you. How you forgot such a thing? There's no more Mickey Mouse for all of you for the coming two weeks as penalty. So we expanded your breast. It is literally another Halloween.
because according to Islam Allah brother he brother cut the throat of Muhammad from his throat all the way to his testicles let me show you the hadith I mean, this is really a real day of Halloween. <sighs> Hold on. I will put this in the side. Remind me, guys, after two seconds or sorry, the three minutes to show you that the, the because maybe some of you want to see the 99 dragons. Don't you want to see it? Who of you want to see the hate about 99 dragons? Give me one if you like to see it. Because if you don't want to see it, I'm not going to show it to you, seriously. I mean, okay, why I want to look for it? All right? Nobody want to see it. Christian Prince, he search for things, find things, and there's no way you can find it. Okay, as long all of you want to find it and you like to see it, let me tell you the bad news, my friend. We are Arab. We don't care for your voting. Hello. So, of, so who care if you are all of you voted one? Yes, yes, yes. We say no, 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 no. We are Arab. We are against democracy. Yeah, right. Yeah, give give more one. You think I'm a crazy? I will let you do it. And then this is not this is how not how we do it in the Middle East. People they say yes, we do no. We are very stubborn. Thank you very much. So now let us go and find how Allah He inserted, He made a, a, a Halloween surgery for the Prophet and He installed inside Him a big dish, a huge dish. Where is, uh, where is the hadith? Let me see. I'm, I'm trying to find the hadith. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Any Muslim you say that in the West they do Halloween? Okay, okay, because of you, you gave two and three, then I have to show the hadith about uh, about the 99 dragons. I mean, you are forcing me, sorry. What I can do now? I have no choice. Right. What's wrong with you? Uh, have mercy. All right. Uh, and now I have to find the hadith about that thing. I mean, why you do that to me? Why? Okay, let's finish this one first. So, the night uh, Allah Messenger, uh, S A W W W W B B C, was taken of a, for a journey from the second mosque of Mecca, uh, Kaaba. Three person came to him. How many? Three. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I was one of them. Uh, in a dreamy while he was sleeping. So is it a dream or real? Uh, three person come in a dreamy. The second mosque before the divine inspiration was revealed to him. One of them he said, which of them is he? Ah, this guy, he is an angel, but he is not sure which one is Muhammad. Which one is Muhammad? Hmm? The other guy in the middle, he said to him, he is the best of them. Uh -huh. I mean, this is getting more action. Imagine Christian Prince is walking between a bunch of guys and three angels come in and they say to each other, who is a Christian Prince? And the other guy, he says, he's the best of them, brother. <laughs> Best in what? <laughs> all right, all right. Let us zoom in so you guys you can read the text better. The last third angel. This is the last third angel. Oof. Even the angels they came to Muhammad the three, and the Muslim is against Trinity. Remember, take the best of them. Only that match happened on the night and he did not see them till they came other night i.e after the divine inspiration was revealed <laughs> jump jump this garbage let's go okay 
and so the case with the prophet their eyes sleep while their heart is not sleep if 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 so those angels do not talk to him till they carried him and they placed him beside the wo the will of zamzam so the angels they carry the prophet muhammad and they put him next to the will of zamzam zim 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 from among them jibril ah finally they told us one of the names of the three took a charge of him jibril is in charge i mean what you can do about it that's it jibril cut open the part of his body the halloween started brother sit down sit down bring your popcorn please everybody bring your popcorn uh and uh, let us uh, <clears throat> let us enjoy the halloween uh, pagan practice of torturing and cutting chest and this is allah now is doing halloween for his best man this is the best man of mankind allah even he put his name over his chair allah cannot even live without writing the name of the prophet muhammad over his chair you look at the chair of allah you don't say christian prince you don't say make america great again no 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 you see Muhammad Allah is obsessed with Muhammad name he wrote the name of Muhammad all over so Jibreel he cut open the part of his body what part between his throat all the way was the chest da, 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 and took all the material out of his chest and the abandonment <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, oh, you cannot hear me? Uh, what happened? Maybe my internet is weak. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Maybe my internet is weak. <clears throat> Am I heard? It's a Halloween internet. You guys don't hear me? All right. You can't hear me still? Hello, am I heard or no? You can? Well, as long as you do not hear me, so it's time for me to sing. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. The screen is a frozen. Hmm. I'm not sure why. Mm hmm I wonder what is the speed of my internet now. Let us see. My net speed. <clears throat> it is not my internet, it is YouTube. It's a problem with YouTube. Yeah, I think it's YouTube. Let me see. Yeah. No, no, it's just YouTube.
yeah what I can do I mean obviously it is YouTube issue all right is it back now is it back now okay you see it's not my it's not from my side for sure because I, I check the speed the speed is really uh, is very good uh, uh, it was YouTube for sure but anyway so they cut here between his throat all the way to down to his heart and they take the material out and they take the all all the shit inside my <laughs> and then they washed Muhammad inside inner with the water of Zamzam. They cannot wash it in different water. Sorry, I mean, you cannot wash it with the, any water. It have to be Zamzam. With his hand, his own hands, till he cleansed the inside of his body. And then a golden tray containing a gold ball full of belief and wisdom was brought, and then Jibreel stuffed his. <laughs> <laughs> stuffed his chest and his throat blood vessels with <laughs> guys if I make a movie about this scene how many Muslims they will accuse me of all kind of hatred and if I do it exactly as it says there Because it's very stupid and very embarrassing, they will not let you know how stupid Islam is. I wish I am good in making cartoon. If any of you are really good in making cartoon, make a cartoon. This is perfect. This is perfect occasion. It's called the pagan Halloween for the pagan Western who celebrate such a stupid occasion. Muslim, they practice the same, but it's a real Halloween. Supposedly, Allah Himself He practiced such a thing. You know, you know the funny thing the Muslim they say to us: if Allah He wants something to happen, He say B is going to be. But as you see, Allah did not say B. He needed to make a plastic plastic surgery, a real one, to expand the Prophet chest, and even He made the Quran about it that Allah He expand the chest of the Prophet and He He wash it from the burden. Didn't we have we not expanded the breast, Muhammad, and removed from the burden? Burden is in his chest. Then, which did Galde back? And we raised high the eastern. What is the. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? What a drama. Do we have any Abdul in the bushes? <clears throat> you know, uh, remember as long as you are talking about uh, expanding the breast, expanding the breast hmm. let us go here and <clears throat> find something which will will make it uh... mm -hmm. <clears throat> different verse. In chapter 6, verse number 125, 
the Muslim they made tons of videos saying that this chapter here this verse is speaking about scientific fact read with me carefully this is the Muslim translation not mine this is Muslim translation not mine and you can switch to any translation you wish it doesn't matter all right like if you don't like Yusuf uh, Yusuf Ali you can go to big tell I don't care really at the end of the day I will bust you easy with your lies so and who's who's ever Allah will guide, will to guide he expands his bosom <laughs> <laughs> His bosom <laughs> uh, into the sur surrender, and whomsoever it is his will to send astray, he makes his bosom closed and narrow as if he were engaged in sheer uh, ascent. <laughs> I mean, this guy translation is hilarious. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> bosom. <laughs> hey brother, Allah will make your uh, will extend your bosom. What bosom mean? Muslims, what bosom mean? You know what? I will search Google. Uh, English, my my English is not good. I want to see what bosom mean. Hmm? Bosom. Bosom, bosom. A woman a chest. <laughs> Oh, Abdul, I love this religion, brother. I love this religion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Allah will extend your bosom? Bosom. That's fun. So all of us, we will have a breast of women, brother? All of us, we will have a breast of, of, of women. Hey, by the way, what do you think the size? I should, what is the bra we should buy, brother, after we became Muslims? Hmm? So Allah will extend our bosom. Okay. And the Muslim they say the verse they are saying that as if you are climbing into the sky, you will not Allah will make your chest narrow. Let's, let's they take different translation because maybe this guy is not good for the Muslim. Let us try a different one. Therefore, for whosoever Allah intend that he would guide him straight, he expand his breast for Islam. And for who, who's, whomsoever he intend that he should go as an error. You see, Allah is the one who caused you error. Allah is the one who caused you as astray. Allah is the one who guide you. Allah is the one who calls you to be error. And yet they say to me, why you call your book the deception of Allah? If you are admitting that it's Allah who calls you to do error. And by the way, it doesn't say the word error there. It's about deceiving. He makes his breast straight and narrow as thought he were ascending upwards to the sky. Let's show you to show you how stupid Islam is. Muhammad, he noticed that when you climb into a mountain, you have a heavy breathe. But that will not make your chest narrow. It is the opposite. Is that correct, guys? The less oxygen around, the more air you breathe. It is the opposite. This is why those who live in high mountains, they have a bigger lungs in their chest because they have less oxygen there. Their chest is not narrow. It is bigger. So this is not a scientific discovery, Abdul. It is the opposite. It's stupid. The one who goes up in the sky, his chest, even if he is not living in a mountain, his chest will not become narrow because in the sky there is less pressure. Is that correct, guys? To the point, if you go out in the space, your body will explode. 
it's not the opposite it's not your lung will collapse your body all of it will will explode because there's no pressure this is why when you go in the airplane they have to maintain the same pressure they have in the ground otherwise you will die So this is not a scientific discovery. This is a stupid discovery. When you go up in the sky, your chest will not get narrow. It is the opposite. Even actually, those who live in mountains, they have a stronger voice. Their physique is stronger too. And their lung is bigger for they have to provide enough oxygen which is a lot less than it's found in down down this is why if you buy a gas heater they say to you if you live above uh, 4900 square foot this gas heater will not function It's going to shut off if it have like an oxygen sensor why because simply the oxygen there is not the same as down level which is the normal level so human being who live in a high area in order to provide himself with more oxygen he have to suck more air and that explain why their lungs is bigger so the quran again is a stupid book teaching stupid science but the muslim they made a chapter about it i mean videos about it that this is scientific discovery Now, I don't want to forget, we showed you how, and then by the way, after that, we don't want to miss that point here. After Jibreel, he got, he got a golden dish of wisdom, and this is the only religion teach that you receive wisdom, wisdom by gold, golden bowl. And by the way, I have to be honest with you, I did not go to school. I, got, I prayed to Allah, and Allah, he sent me a Jibreel. And like in the high school, as an example, a second day, I have a mathematic uh, exam. Allah sent Jibreel, he cut in my throat, and he stuffed my throat with mathematics knowledge. And then I went to the exam, I made, I get, I got, I remember, this is a true story, by the way, I got uh, 200 from 100. And this is a very true story. If you don't believe me, ask Jibreel. I have always witnesses for everything I do as a prophet. Jibreel. So the prophet of Allah, Allah, he stuffed in his throat and his belly, in his abandonment, and his stomach, maybe even his bowls, dish full or full of belief and wisdom. Isn't it? This is amazing. This is not only a Halloween cutting the throat of somebody to install wisdom. I never, I, by the way, Muslims, the wisdom is in his throat, in his abandonment, and they come in dishes. That explains why Muhammad is so stupid. Unbelievable. Then, if we go down, it says, and then was brought and Jibreel. Brother Jibreel, the angel Jibreel, brother, he stuffed his chest and he throat blood vessels with it. Mean, even the blood of Muhammad is full of wisdom. You take Muhammad to the laboratory to check his blood, what they will find? Wisdom A positive. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I agree, I agree. I'm wonderful. I have a blood A positive wisdom. Thank you. It's enough. Come on, shut up. Enough, enough. Any one of you do that again, I will throw you out and I will take all the wisdom from your throat. And your blood vessels. By the way, you have zero anyway. He stuffed 
did, did they say the word stuffed? Hold on, hold on. What the word stuffed mean? You see, English again is not my first language, so I need to know what stuff means. Sorry, guys, sorry. I have to search it in Google. Okay, what stuff mean? What stuff mean? Hmm. Hmm. Stuffed. Stuff. Stuff. Okay. Past lens, stuffed, past, print, okay. Highly something. Uh, space and a high stuff. Okay, so to put a lot of uh, uh, to push a lot of things inside the space, I got it. I got it. That's amazing. That's so beautiful. So the prophet, the angel, he stuffed his blood vessels and his throat and his nerves because when you say the blood vessels, this means wherever you go. If you injure the prophet, if the prophet, as an example. He have an injury in his penis. What he is going to leak, brother? He is going to leak wisdom. A lot of wisdom. The wisdom will start dropping. This is not the blood. This is not the blood, my friend. I assure you. The prophet, he don't bleed the blood. He bleed wisdom. And this is the proven, and this is very scientific. Actually, all of us Arab, when we bleed, we don't bleed the blood. To be honest with you, we bleed oil sometime. This is why you buy oil from us, brother. I mean, obviously, Islam is a very, very, very truthful religion, and this story have nothing to do with false and fictions. It's true, brother. Do you see anything strange in this story, brother? Absolutely not. It's one hundred percent true story, proven, and it's practical too. Now, brother, let us find you the hadith. Uh, I, guys, did I say to you, remind me to about the story of the 99 dragons? Why Why nobody remind me? Oh, let us see where we can find the 99 dragon story. Hold on. Let us close some browsers. We have too many. Hmm. What is this one? Mm -mm -mm. Let us see here. <clears throat> need to find the hadith I hope it's not going to be hard to find the hadith hold on hold on we are short in number in the hadith here this is the only one, sorry guys, we found in Arabic, in English translation. It says that the one will go inside your anus is 70 dragons, not 90. We need to find the 90, but let us go with the 70 first. Uh, hold on. Allah Messenger. So in the case of remembrance of death, the severe of a of a, a pleasure uh, for in, in indeed there is no day that comes upon the grave except that it speaks, saying, I am the house of the estranged. Estranged? What does that mean? I mean, this is and I am I am the house of. Saluted, 
I'm saying the word correctly, guys. I'm not sure. I read it for me in Arabic. I, that this is translation doesn't make sense for me. I am the house of dust. I am the house of worm eaten. <laughs> when, when a believing worshipper is buried in the grave, the grave says to him. So you see, first the grave here is speaking to somebody is a bad person. I am the worm eater. I am the snakes. I am blah 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 blah. But if you are a believer, the grave will say to you, the grave, the grave will talk about that. When a believing worshipper is buried, the grave will say to him, Welcome, welcome home, my friend. <laughs> Make yourself at home. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Boy, 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 boy. But make yourself comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable. Sorry. <laughs> this is the real Halloween. This is the real Halloween, brother. You are in the grave, and there is two kinds of a grave. There is a grave for a believer and a grave for an unbeliever. You are an unbeliever. Allah grave will make his grave talk to you. Say, I am the worm, worm eater. I am the snakes eater, biter. And they will start bite you and eat you. But if you are a believer, brother, Allah will make the grave talk to you. The grave will say to him, read, I'm not the one saying that. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. Indeed, to me, you are the most beloved. Those who walked upon me. That's deep. That's deep. The grave will talk to me and will say to me, Welcome. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Ho 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 hold on. Hold on. I need to call somebody. I need to call a friend. <clears throat> We have to call Dr. Zakir Naik. His cell phone. Hello. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Dr. Zakir Naik, we, we have a question uh, uh, that about when we go in the grave, the grave will speak to us. What does that mean exactly, brother? <clears throat> First of all, I am thick. I am truly, truly thick of you. I know that you are a Christian prince and you are changing your voice. I will report you to the authority for sexual harassment or what you call me after the middle of the night. Secondly, brother Sitter, when the prophet speak about the appointment of the grave, this is first of all proven to be true. It is scientifically correct. Other example, one of my previous wife, I killed her by poison. She went to the grave and she sent me text message saying to me, I will obey you forever. Please take me out of the grave because she was a disbeliever. 99 dragon brother, they go inside her butt. She have a big butt, by the way. It fits for all of them. It's like a warehouse. Allah Akbar. And this is absolutely true. Some of the Christian. They try to discredit the prophet and they say this is fiction. Go if you don't believe me and watch any horror movie or Halloween. And you will see that is very potable. It's very potable and very practical. And this is true. Thank you very much. Uh, he hung up on me? <laughs> what? Brother, are you there? The grave will say to me, Welcome, make yourself comfortable. I mean, how comfortable? <laughs> uh, this is very convincing. I mean, why in the world you will not believe in Islam as a religion, my friend? What's wrong with you? What's a, what is your problem? Seriously, what is your problem? The grave will say to you, will come home make yourself comfortable the remote control is there 
<laughs> hmm. And then the prophet, <clears throat> he he will go down and he will give us more details. Guys, do you want to see the, the dragons or not yet? Do you want to see the dragons? Who want to see the dragons? Anyone want to see the dragons? You guys are not interested. Let us go down. Look what the look at the first translation, by the way. In Arabic, it says, "وَيُقَيِّدُ اللَّهُ لَهُ سَبْعِينَ تِنِينًا لَوْ أَنَّ وَاحِدًا مِنْهَا نَفَخَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا أَنْبَتَتْ شَيْئًا مَا بَقِيَتِ الدُّنْيَا فَيَنْهَشُهُ فَيَنْهَشْنَهُ وَيَخْدُشْنَهُ حَتَّى يُفْضِي بِهِ إِلَى الْحِسَابِ translation <laughs> the Muslims here if you search the word dragon you will not see it there in English they, they change the word from from dragon to serpent read with me he said the messenger of Allah S A W W uh, clasped some of his fingers between others imagine the the, the scene now the prophet he is like come on nervous he's telling something very serious between others and said and again this is not serpent this is dragon 70 giant I'm scared I'm really scared that's really scary I mean, this is really, really, really scary. How many of you is scared? Huh? Be honest with me. Seventy giant. Dragon will constrict him if even one of them, brother, were to hiss on earth, hiss, hiss, nothing, nothing upon it would grow as long as it's remained or remained. That's horrible. Today is Halloween. That's kind of scary. Brother, I advise you, advise you to repent before the giant dragon come to you. <laughs> And he start his on you. <laughs> and then, brother, the crazy giant dragon, there are 70 of them. It's not only one, so you can imagine, brother. <laughs> they will be, brother, doing the following. They will chew him. They will what? <laughs> they will chew. <laughs> I remember the dog who did that to me once. <laughs> it, it was horrible. <laughs> but this is not a dog. This is a real, real giant dragon. <laughs> and they will be chewing on you. And now, brother, you are dead, yet they are showing you. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm really scared. This is very, very ter terrifying. We have to admit. So now you are in the grave, and you are dead. And look how the Muslim, the Muslim, if you go back in the story, brother, the grave, he is having fun. The grave will say to the Muslim, huh? 
when a believing person he is buried, he will say to him, Welcome, brother, make yourself at home comfortable. Comfortable? It's not comfortable. It's com comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> Indeed, to me, you are the most beloved, those who walk upon me. How many people walk upon him, the grave? The grave, the talking grave. This is called the talking grave. And you Muslim, you say you don't have Halloween? 70 dragons. And by the way, not, they are not 70. They are 99 dragons. I can show you from different reference. But I, I'm showing you now what I found in English. So I'm stuck with the English one because you guys, sorry, are ignorant. Uh, ignorant you are. You cannot read Arabic. <laughs> you are missing a lot. You are missing a lot of fun. So, brother, when you are in the grave, there is 70 giant dragon. They will construct him. If even one of them were to hiss the, on earth, nothing upon... By, by the way, how, how the dragon will bite the earth? If a dragon, he bite the earth, the earth will not have any greenery? Anyone remember, guys, this uh, this uh, poor Pakistani guy in the video who was speaking about the Pasha of the Grave, and he said that? Do you remember? This is where he got it from. They are not making things up. Those are victims of this cult. He said, brother, if, if this uh, 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 snake, he said snake, bite the earth, if this snake bite the earth, the earth will never have a greenery forever, brother. So imagine, brother, if this snake did bite you, if you remember the video, yeah, a snake with seven head. <laughs> so, seventy giant dragon will construct him, and if even one of them were to hiss the earth, nothing upon it would grow as long as it remained. They will chew him. They will be chewing you, brother. The dragons, yes, because they were listening to Christian prince. Eat him, eat him, brother. Eat him more, more. Yes, brother. Allahu Akbar. More, more. Yes, brother. Thank you very much, dragon. Thank you for eating the infidels and chewing them. Is it yummy, brother? To the 70 dragons, they will be chewing you forever. I mean, how much meat we have to chew forever, man? What do you mean they will chew on me? I will be gum? I am dead. I have only bones. <laughs> they will be chewing what exactly? <laughs> and they will chew him and bite him. <laughs> bite him more. Of brother, that's so good. That's very, very, very. I'm convinced. I'm really convinced that there is hell and fire because of Muhammad's story, not because I'm a Christian. No, because of Muhammad's story. Before I was not sure. Now he continues saying, "They will chew him and bite him until he is brought in the reckoning." Until the judgment day. So from the time you are in the grave, my brother, in your in your apartment there, you have snakes, you have dragons, you have, by the way, there's hadith about the scorpion too, because there's a scorpion, they are not done yet. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim here? Any Muslim? He have an objection. Any Muslim have an objection for what I said, which your prophet said. Who of you Muslims don't agree with his prophet? Be honest. And how many of you agree that there is 70 dragons will go inside your anus and they will bite you and they will chew you? Hmm? 
<sighs> I don't know what to say. I'm so disappointed. Let me see. Uh, there's different hadith I will try to find for you guys. I'm not sure if I can find it or not in English. You see, the problem is I am limited to show you what is in English. Sometimes we have no choice. <clears throat> hold on. Hold on, hold on. What I found. I found this one in English. Let us go for this one. The Messenger of Allah said, when the deceased, or he said, when you of you is buried, two angels, black and blue-eyed. <laughs> this is what happened when you have six marriage, brother. Obviously, the father was a black, the mother was a blonde woman, she had blue eyes. The baby is a black angel with the blue eyes, brother. <laughs> now look at the racist Muhammad. Those angels are the angels of death. This is why they are black. Did you notice? Their job is to do evil. That's why he made them black. Jibreel is white. Those are black, but they have a blue eyes. Mean how zigzy, how zigzy, and how beautiful. Someone want to call? Is a is a Muslim? If it's not a Muslim, I don't want to talk to anyone. Sorry, I am busy with the Halloween. If it's a Muslim, I will take you. Okay, don't call me, please. Now, don't call. I did not have my lunch yet. And to be honest with you, I know I feel more hungry. I want to eat as much as I can before I go to the grave. <laughs> this story is open my appetite. I feel like really, really hungry now. Brother, so when one of you is buried, two angels, black and blue-eyed, come to him. One of them is called Al-Munkar. Al-Munkar is the bad. His name is the bad. What the heck? This angel, his name is the bad? The, the evil. The rejected. This is why he's a black angel. As you see, I told you, Muhammad is a racist. And the other one, his name is a Nakir. So both of them, they complete each other. And Al-Munkar and Nakir. The rejected and the evil, the bad, the ugly. Like uh, there's a movie. It's called "The Bad, the Good, and the Ugly." Uh, is that is that correct? The bad and the good and the ugly. Hmm. Those are the bad and the ugly. <laughs> there's no good there. The the good one he will go to the to the to the believer the gray. They say, "What did you used to say about this man?" So he says. What he was saying before death. He is Allah, slave, and his messenger. I testify that none has the right to worship but Allah and his Allah, and that Muhammad is his slave and his messenger. You are dead now, but you are saying Shahada, brother. Do you believe it? You are dead in the grave, but you are talking. This is the most amazing Halloween. You are in the grave and you are taking Shahada. So they say, we know that you would say this. So why you ask him if you know he was going, why you are wasting the time? We knew you are going to say this. So why you ask the guy? The poor guy is dead, let him, oh boy. Then his grave expanded to 70 by 70 cubit. Mean, I want to have an apartment like this. You are in the grave now, 
and the angels will expand your grave because you're such a brother you're such a you deserve a big big the big uh, big space brother big space isn't it isn't it brother is it beautiful see the benefit of being a muslim brother here we go you are in the grave a very tiny grave especially if you are in japan brother uh, brother in japan they burn them so what will happen i mean what i will do with the 70 cubit grave if i am just uh, ashes uh, brother uh, anyway so allah will give you 70 uh, you know will give you a special size uh, it's a five stars grave then it is eliminated for him if 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 if, if. it is what Man, always, always, I was thinking to put in my death will that will that I need LED light in my grave. LED light. What happened? I lost, brother. Isn't it amazing? You will have your grave full of light. You will not be in dark. Free electricity. You can now read him. You can do read magazine. You can buy Playboy magazine. I mean, you, I mean that's it. It's it's a grave, yes, but it is wide and a lot of light. It's very comfortable. The grave says to you, "Be feel free, feel comfortable, my brother." Then. <clears throat> Then it said to him, sleep. Okay, so what's the point of the light if he's going to sleep again now? I thought he would like do something. I mean, what? So he said, can I return to my family brother to inform them? What, 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 what? The, dead, the, the, the dead guy, he will ask the angels, the black angel, can I return back my brother, my brother to inform, inform them what? That you have a big, uh, you have a big apartment in the grave. <laughs> they say sleep, as in you will would. What? As somebody who just get married? Is that what people do when they get married? Really? Hey guys, how many of you get married? I am single. So if you are just get married, you sleep, you idiot. I thought you do something else. <laughs> I wonder why there's nobody having babies these days no more. Because they get married, they go sleep very well. <laughs> Whom none awakes but the dearest of his family. Oof. Oof. That's deep. That's deep and that's very sexy. You are like... And then the dear of your family will come to you and will wake you up. And who is the dear of your family? Obviously, it's your mother in law. And she will say to you, <laughs> What happened? Who's this? Uh, what, what happened? The, uh, uh, thank God I'm not married. All right. Until Allah resurrected him from his resting place. If he was a hypocrite, if look at this now, we have the second part of the movie. Halloween just started. If he is a hypocrite, he would say, I heard people saying something. So I said, say the same, same, same. I, by, by the way, this is a song. I made it. It's a backstab. I would like to say the same, same, same. What is the same, same, same? It is repeating the Quran, Quran, Quran. Which every verse repeating the same, same, same. You do not matter which verse you read because all of them, they are the same, same, same. Allah, when he talk, he say, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. The second verse, he say the same, same, same. The third verse, he say the same, same, same. The fourth verse, he say the same, same, same. If you don't believe me, go right now to the chapter of Al-Fatiha. It says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. 
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم hold on hold on somebody don't believe that it's the same 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 I'm not making things up it's the same hey we go let me let me let me show you let me show you brother hmm? let me show you switch to Arabic This is a chapter one, verse number one, verse number two, verse number three, verse number four. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to Allah, the cashier, the sustainer. No, no, no. It's the same, nothing changed. I mean, Allah is praising Himself. The most gracious, most merciful. You just said here, most gracious, merciful. Why you are saying it again? Isn't it obvious? It's the same, the same, the same. Oh, hold on. hold on. You are not convinced. You are not convinced. Okay, let me show you. Hmm. What is that? Same, the same, the same. The same, the same, the same. Hmm. Brother, I will do this. I will copy this sentence. And I will go to the search engine, brother. I will paste it here, brother. And then I will change to English, brother. Follow with me, brother. And then I will click at search, brother. And look how many times the same, the same, the same appear. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? And then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Come, to, you guys, come back tomorrow, because I have a lot of it. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Page number two in the search. We are not done, brother. Oh, hold on. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Let's do it faster. Which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Which of the favor of your Lord will deny? And verse number, page number three. In which of the favor of your Lord will deny? In which of the favor of your Lord will deny? In which of the favor of your Lord will deny? In which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Blah 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 Sorry, it's too much to deny. That's a lot of denying. I have to admit that is God. That must be God. He is not out of words, out of sentence. He is not repeating himself, obviously. He just like the phrase to the point. I'm going crazy. <laughs> you, you got it? You got it? Are you sure? <laughs> Ah, I'm a boy. Ah, I love to be a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, brother. Alhamdulillah, brother. I have a book. It's called Quran and full of how. And then, in which in the favor of your Lord will deny. I mean, if we check the blood of Allah, we will find that 90% of it saying, then which of the favor of your Lord will deny. Anyway, let it go. Let it go. Guys, are you are you having fun here? Why I have only 246 people today? Ah, Halloween people. Pagan. <sighs> I would not like to see any Christian celebrating this cult practice. This is bad. This is pagan. This is ugly and this is evil. Don't do it. Leave that to Muhammad. So now we go back in the hadith. Okay, this is here. They are showing him. No, this hadith we finished. Let us go here. Okay. I heard people saying, this is the hypocrite guy. He tried to escape himself the punishment. So he tried to fool, trying to do what here? Listen, listen. He is trying to scam the angels because he knew exactly that. Because Muhammad told us already the questions and the answers. <laughs> Imagine, guys, you are going to exam and you know already the questions and the answers. I heard the people saying something, so I said the same. I do not know. So they said, we know you would say that. That's the, 
the angels they knew already he would say that don't try we knew what you will say so the earth is told constrict him Oof. you are inside the grave and the grave now will start pressing hard on you do you remember guys when muhammad he slept with the mother of ali in her grave because he wanted to ease the pressure of the grave according to Muslims but the woman is naked and he took off his clothes with her and she's beautiful the Prophet of Allah is very good man he sleep with dead women in her grave so he will make the pressure of the grave not tough on her Mm. So the earth brother will construct him. So it is construct around him. I cannot breathe, please. The guy is dead. What do you mean to construct him? We, we put we put sand in the top of the guy. What construct him? Muhammad, what are you talking about? Squeezing his ribs. Mean the ribs is squeezed. Uh, they, uh, you're in the grave, and uh, your your ribs, uh, brother, is uh, squeezed. Oof, that's deep. That's amazing deep. And brother, he continues being punished like that until Allah resurrect him from his resting. This is his resting place. Are you calling uh, Muhammad after this? He called his place rest in place. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. 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 Hmm. 70 dragons, huh? What happened to the 99 dragons? Do we have any Muslim here? An angel, a black angel with the blue eyes. Hmm? I'm not going to stay longer with you guys. I hope people they get the idea that the real Halloween is in Islam. The Halloween, the pagan practice of Halloween, which Western or some of them they practice. Is a fiction stupid Muhammad he practiced real Halloween we showed you how he killed people how he put nails in the eyes of people how he tortured how he cut hands and this is in the hadith and in the Quran cutting fingers cutting torturing people additional to that there's two kind let's say the Halloween of Muhammad is two parts one is fictional and one is real the real one is Muhammad practiced in life Cutting hands, cutting fingers, cutting nose, cutting toes, practicing all kind of filthy behavior, putting nails in the eyes of people, that is was real. The one we see in the front of us, about 99 dragons going inside the anus of a Muslim, Allah will insert a chain in the anus of the Abdul or non-believer, is the fictional part of the Halloween of Muhammad. However, both are ugly and disgusting. The real Halloween, which means the real torture Muhammad he practiced in his life and in his religion, the violent, the bloodshed, the killing, the torture, exposing the ugly reality about the cult of Islam. And the fictional one is additional proof that Muhammad is an ugly man. In order to make you worship him, Aka Allah, he scare the hell of you that even now you escape me and you cannot escape me you are in the grave and yet there is somebody will play with your anus you are in the grave and they will hit you with the hammer you are in the grave and they will cut your pieces you are in the grave but there is a dinosaur or there is a dragon will chew you even muhammad he made muslims scared to go to the bathroom he told them there's conspiracy against them that if you go in the bathroom and you don't say a prayer, shaitan will go inside your anus and is going to play with it. 
even a Muslim when he have sex he told him if you don't pray to Allah a shaitan will round himself around your penis and he will be doing the wife of yours and he will make your wife a pregnant from him the Halloween of Muhammad just to control your mind so you will be terrified to make you scared and when you are in the stage of panic everything is possible Muhammad can be a prophet because now you are scared if he can convince you of all those stupid stories then he can convince you easy that he is a prophet and this is the purpose of all those stupid stories I want to say thank you guys for being here I really appreciate people download those videos because trust me they will not stay download them as soon as we finish the program after like give it like 15 20 minutes the video will be up so you can download it all download it you can cut it pieces and you can post it everywhere we shared a lot of knowledge with you today so you might learn I'm not here to do comedy show I'm not here to make you laugh I'm giving it from my time and from my life in order to educate as many as I can so please help us to educate the world so nobody would be fooled by such a stupid cult it's not even worth to be called cult we are not here to make fun of anyone I'm not here to make fun even by for the Muslims I'm just showing them how stupid this cult is so they might understand why we don't believe in it and why they themselves should not believe in it I don't hate Muslims and I will never hate them in fact because we love you we try to save you the one who hate you he will never invite you to believe in the Christ the best of the best we have the one who hate you he will never wanted you to go to heaven we don't be we don't want you to believe in this garbage for it is garbage use your brain if you have one if you have one if you don't that's your problem may the Lord bless you all and until we see you soon again I say Christ is Lord Islam is false and we pray that we have a better understanding for what is right and what's wrong and we are going to use our brain and make decision why is decision about life and this is why I explain to you today why we should not celebrate stupid behavior or practice it's called Halloween it's a stupid it's not a Christian it's far away from Christianity thank you very much May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord, and all others are cult and lies, including Islam. See ya. Bye bye.